for ending that mercifully. <laughs> that nobody's ever heard of from Greece and she crushed it from Greece yeah the origin is in Greek that's whatever, not dude. Greece whatever okay same thing okay you mad? why why you gotta be like that it's early okay <laughs> I don't understand it Bro, what is this thing is this like a rocket ship thing greatest invention ever. It is a hydro massage bed and basically what it does is it shoots water across your body and it just feels amazing for hamstrings, calves, buttocks, buttocks, buttocks uh, lower back, um, upper back, shoulders, hips, I mean anything that you want a, a good massage on, this is the way to do it because it's really, uh, it's really fantastic. I love it. You know, some days you just get out of bed and things piss you off. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> what happened you know, here, bro? Some days you just Computer get out just of bed died or what? And things no, piss now it'll turn on because you know it's mean? plugged in. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's not how you want to start yeah, your day. Somebody. It's literally, literally, people. It's 5.50. How is this even a possibility that Tad Stevens has made an appearance? Tad Stevens is a bad man! Heidi ho back in the BMW. By the way, love driving my BMW. Jake actually is right there behind me in his Fiat 500 Abarth, which I also own. One of those, not his, mine. Um, but we are on our way to 1580 The Fanatic. Otherwise, as you've known it, it is Project X. And if you're just tuning in to The Matu Show, uh, Project X is that we are going to host noon to three on 1580 The Fanatic. And I am the program director of the station, which means I am in charge of all on-air content. So I coach people, I coach different talk show hosts and work with them to get the most out of their shows. And one of the things I really enjoy about that is figuring out how to communicate with people how they need to be communicated with. And if you are an entrepreneur or a small business owner, this is all you need to remember that I've ever told you because it will serve you well. It will make you money. Um, it will make you productive. If you can remember that not everybody communicates the same way, and certainly not everybody communicates the way you communicate. Some people want to be yelled at. Some people want to be whispered at. Some people you can use a firmer hand with. Other people you need to be gentle. The cell phone has completely changed the way um, we create content completely has changed the way we do business in radio. And it's very similar to, hey, you need to learn how to communicate with people. I need to learn how to reach listeners where they are, and that's on their cell phones. And, you know, there's so many challenges in that. One of the reasons I love YouTube is that you can reach people in a very personal way you can reach people because people consume YouTube very differently than they consume things like Twitter or social media. People consume YouTube in their laying in bed, in their cars, on the trains, on the planes. They consume it where it's convenient for them. And if they're consuming your vlog, if they're watching The Monty Show on YouTube in their office, at work, at the gym, on the treadmill, 
there's something very gratifying to me about that and I really appreciate that you take the time to watch this vlog every day. It's growing so fast. We're doing really well. Our subscriptions, our subscribers are up. Our, you know, our views are up, our minutes are up, our retention is up, the people are watching more and more of each episode. I mean, it's really exciting that you guys have chosen to do that. And that's what I love about content creation. The bottom line here is I'm really excited to go have this staff meeting today and introduce myself to all of these people um, who 99% of them I know and probably have worked with them or somebody they know in the past. Hell, I've been in radio since I was a teenager, so... Um, it's really going to be fun and we're going to take you inside that meeting and you'll actually get to hear what I say to them today. <laughs> Barely half of them. Now I need double fighters. Ah, the dream is gone. Not even any new guy love. Well, staff meeting went pretty well. Can't complain. A lot of good conversations taking place, and you would expect that. A lot of excited people, and you know the hard part it always is when you're, you know, coming into a situation where people are already in places. There's naturally going to be some people um, that are more receptive than than others, and you always feel bad about that, but. You know, it's like I talked about earlier that you got to find a way to reach those people and communicate with those people the way they need to be communicated with. And whether that's, you know, coddling somebody or getting on somebody a little more, you got to figure that out. But there's also another rule that needs to be abided by, and that is that maybe some people don't want to be reached, and maybe some people are not excited about change and what's happening. And I think as an entrepreneur and a business owner, you have to identify those people as well. And for me, it's a little different because I don't own the radio station. I own my part of the radio station. So, you know, it's those kind of things that you can't calculate. Um, it's those kind of things that you can't prepare for. But um, if you're educated and if you're prepared, you can always um, react to that. So we'll see. But. Now it's 1.30 and I gotta get my macros back in line, so getting the beamer washed. The jewels hasn't been cleaned in a while. 
Ooh, looking good. How'd we do? Great. Can I be a nitpicker? Oh yeah, there you go. See? That's why I come to Cobblestone. Already did that. There you go. Thank you. No, I'm good. I have it already. Yeah. It's pretty good. Those wheels blinging. Again, this is Cobblestone in Gilbert. That's our uh, go-to car wash. So, yeah, they do a good job, man. Man, I'll tell you, there's nothing like getting in... My car's name, have I talked about this? Yes, I named my cars. My Fiat Abarth is named Carlo. C-A-R-L-O, because the guy that Abarth is named after is Carlo Abarth. And I'm Italian, go figure. Um, actually, I should be specific. I'm Sicilian, not Italian. But there's nothing like getting in Jules. I named my car Jules after Samuel L. Jackson's character in Pulp Fiction. There's nothing like getting in Jules when it's clean. It's a beautiful car. As you have seen, it's blacked out. I've got super dark tint. Listen, it's 100 degrees every day in Phoenix. You need dark tint here. Um, but it smells really good. I always get vanilla air freshener uh, is my flavor of choice. Love it. It's always nice getting your car washed, isn't it? And I'm a bit neurotic about it. There are very few things that I do more intently than take care of my car. Um, I garage park it every night. I really take care of my car. And I get it washed when I have time. I get it washed twice a week, every week. I have a pass so that I get unlimited washes. I pay $24 a month and I could wash it every day if I wanted to for $24 a month. Um, and I get it hand washed and yeah, man, totally worth it. Especially in this climate, in the desert, you gotta do it. Absolutely gotta do it. Gotta get it waxed every six weeks. Yeah, gotta do it. Anyway, love my car. I'll show you more of it in a minute, but we're going over to Sprouts, the grocery store, and I gotta show you two things. One, I gotta show you the car, because it looks pimp, but two, I gotta show you some supplements, because I'm gonna go into Sprouts specifically um, because I'm looking for my adrenal supplements that helps brain function, uh, brain chemical balance, all that stuff. I am out. I usually take a nighttime adrenal supplement that I'm out of. So I'll show you that. We'll get some meatloaf going right now. All right, let's make some meatloaf. Uh, so pretty simply, I've prepped everything. Uh, as you can see, I have some chopped green onion. I have some chopped bell pepper. I have uh, two pounds of turkey, two eggs, salt, um, organic um, strained tomatoes, and I'm going to use a little bit of vegetable broth in the bottom of the pan. Um, and I'm also going to put Italian seasoning and black pepper. And it's pretty simple. I think a lot of people get intimidated by things like bowls of meat. So here's all you do. You season it all first, right? And again, I always tell you be careful with pepper because black pepper is very pungent in taste. This is just plain old Italian seasoning as you can see there. You take that. You can actually put a pretty good amount of Italian seasoning in there because it is very different than pepper. Um, and it works kind of on everything. Little bit of just plain Morton's salt, as you'll see. So just kind of put a little bit in there. Then you take your green onions, which I have chopped right here. You put those in there as well. This is just two stalks of green onion, organic green onion. And now the fun part. You just get your hands dirty. Reach in there. Obviously you want to wash your hands before you do this. Okay. And mix that up a little bit. 
Notice that I have not put those two eggs in here yet. So you kind of crush everything together. Then take your eggs, one at a time. Now the fairly simple part and the best part of this. You take your strained tomatoes, organic strained tomatoes that we got at Sprouts, and you take your vegetable broth, and just put enough of the vegetable broth to kind of cover the bottom of the pan. So it's not a lot at all, as you'll be able to see. Not a lot at all. It's just enough that you can see there's even some bare spots around the corner there. You really don't want to over moisturize that. Then what you do is you take your bowl of meat goodness and you place it handful at a time into this pan. And it's the reason I like to do that, as you're going to see in a minute, is all about shaping. So I'm going to really make sure that I cover the entire pan. And this isn't like a cake, by the way. It's not going to rise. So you want to make sure the entire can is, or the entire pan is covered. And then very simply, you take your organic tomato paste. And you just pour it on top of there. And what this will do is it will add a tremendous amount of flavor on top of it because you're also going to take your organic bell pepper that we bought. And there is a little trick to this bell pepper. You take that and then you push it into the meat. Push it down so that it actually sinks in a little bit. You come back with your Italian seasoning and just dust the top of the pan. And that is the finished product before you pop it in the oven. Then you pop it in the oven, 400 degrees, and you cook it until it's done to your desired temperature. And there's the finished product. Looks amazing. Why don't we go ahead and cut a wedge out of that and see how it does. And a couple of things you can see right away that Italian seasoning we left on top of there makes a huge difference. Can you see all of that there? Look how moist it is around the edge as we get a little steamy lens. So let's just cut a little square as my camera work leaves much to be desired. We get it. It is so hard to cut meatloaf one-handed. I just want everybody to know that. There you go. That is just under five ounces. And I'll cut a little more to make it. How about a fork? See those rudimentary inventions like a fork? All right, seven ounces is perfect. Let's have our first taste. You'll notice it's nice and colorful. Looks, you can see spice in the meat. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. There's a real robust flavor to it. You can taste the sauce. You can certainly taste all the spice and the seasoning in there. It's nice and moist. It's perfect. Yeah. Well, today was a good day. Hope you enjoyed the meatloaf. 
Had some issues, but it turned out great. It tastes awesome. By the way, real quick as we talk about food and macros and all that, woke up this morning and I've been telling you that I haven't been meeting my carbohydrate macro. Don't know what to tell you. Woke up this morning, two pounds light. I'm at an all-time new, new low weight, which is really good. Life is good, man, I'm telling you. Be consistent. Eat well, work out, sleep, work hard, sleep. Eat well, work out, sleep, work hard. Do it in a routine. Take your supplements. Subscribe to this channel. Give us a thumbs up. Whew. And enjoy the ride, because it's going to get cray cray. Whole thing starts tomorrow. You'll get a look at the radio show tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be good. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Thank you.